Hey everyone, I'm Kristen, the Anxiety Therapist, and today I'm going to be talking about polarized thinking, which is a type of cognitive distortion. Um, that's just fancy terminology for thinking errors, um, cognitive pertaining to thinking and our thought processes, and then distortions means something is distorted, right? It, there's an error, um, something is, is inaccurate in some way. Um, so when we have these cognitive distortions, it's usually from repeated and habitual errors in thinking. We all have thinking errors sometimes, right? Maybe you misinterpreted what somebody said to you one time um, and had to get clarification or it elicited a certain type of feeling in you. You know, oh, that's, that's normal. But when it comes to cognitive distortions, that's when these thinking errors are pervasive. And they really cause us to interpret events in a negative way and to, re and to view reality in an inaccurate or irrational way. And this reinforcement of these ways of thinking um, can lead to anxiety, depression, et cetera, because they become our automatic thoughts, right? The more we think these negative thoughts, the more they get, um, they become part of the wiring in our brain and they become our automatic thoughts. So the one I want to talk about today is polarized thinking. This is sometimes referred to as all or nothing thinking, black and white thinking. Um, and basically you are looking at things as being on one end of the spectrum or another. There you're sort of operating at one extreme or the other. There's, it's very hard to find that middle ground or that gray area. And um, you might use words like always, never, everything, nothing, things like that if you're engaging in polarized thinking a lot. Um, an example of this would be the belief that if you aren't perfect, then you're a complete failure, right? Neither of those are, are probably true, and it's likely that the reality lies somewhere in the middle, right? Maybe you have certain strengths and you've done really well in, in, on certain things or in certain areas of your life, and then some things you didn't do so well on, or, or maybe you did even fail a test or, or something of that nature, but it's, it's not one or the other. It's not an either or type of scenario. Um, we also get caught up in this thinking when we think things are either good or bad. And a lot of times um, we can experience some rigidity in thinking that the way we do something is right. It's the only way to do it, right? And so if somebody does something differently, we perceive that as being the wrong way, when in reality it's just different. So one thing that's helpful to overcome these cognitive distortions and polarized thinking in particular is to really start paying attention to your thoughts. And if there is something that evokes a strong emotion in you, um, you know, really analyze it to see if, if maybe you are engaging in polarized thinking and, and see how you might be able to think about that situation differently. So um, that's just one of several cognitive distortions. I plan to do a, a video for each, so stay tuned for some other ones, but I hope you found this helpful, and if so, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you next week. Take care.